That's Nana-chan's voice! Mom, where are you? Why did you disappear? Why did you leave me? No! Come back! Are these... Nanako-chan's feelings? But I'm not lonely. I have Dad with me. I know he's always late coming home. And he never plays with me because he's so busy. He can't cook or do laundry either. He tries to be nice, though he is a little scary sometimes. But I love him. Big Bro is with me now too. So I'm not alone. I'm not lonely. Little kid. Telling herself she's not lonely so she doesn't fall apart. You idiot. We'll ruin everything if we act all sad. We gotta greet her with a smile. Nana-chan. What's the matter? Something's not right. There's someone here besides Nanako-chan. It was faint at first, so I couldn't tell for sure. But there's definitely another person here. And whoever this is, their power's getting stronger. Could it be Namatame? Did he duck in here after being cornered like Mitsuo? Perhaps so. It seemed as if he was particularly determined to kidnap Nanako-chan. But why? If he's the real culprit, he must know the dangers of coming into this world. I don't know, but if it is him, he may have entered from a TV near the site of the accident. Perhaps even the TV in his truck, which means Nanako-chan may be in grave danger. We must hurry. I'm Tenacious. Bear 
You mustn't go! I'm going to save this girl. Taro Namatame. It's definitely him. Then he did come in here. So you're the killer! Let go of her! Ah, uh, <laughs> you're the ones I saved. Don't worry. I'll save this girl too. Huh? Is this dude hide or something? Quit talking shit and let go of the girl! Don't... don't come near me! <gasps> Nanako-chan! Calm down, Kanji-kun. We can't predict his behavior. We have to keep him talking. If we can discern his intentions, perhaps we can somehow deal with him. To save them. People needing to be saved appear. That's why I put them in the TV. No, we must pull his attention away from Nanako chan. You put the people you saw on the Midnight Channel into this world, am I correct? They all... want to be saved. Did I ever ask you to save me? You didn't save us, damn it! It was the exact opposite! If I hadn't put you in the TV, how would you have ended up... How would we? Are you trying to say... we wouldn't have been able to face ourselves? What?! But we nearly died! Yes. Exactly. You kidnapped them. Yes or no? Yes. Why did you target local residents who became known through the media? Why do these people appear on the Midnight Channel? On rainy nights. On TV. They signal me. To save them. You keep saying save this and save that. Are you saying murdering people is your idea of saving them? Murder? No. I'm saving them. How's that different, huh? All you're doing is killing people! <laughs> if you want to think that, go ahead. I know. You chased us all the way here... to kill. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm gonna save her. <laughs> you asshole! You're not gonna get away with this! Shut the hell up! <laughs> what a wonderful world! An unknown, unreachable place filled with pleasant fog. I'm a savior! It's filthy over there. So many evildoers. That's why I'm going to save them! I'm a savior! 
A righteous hero! Is that... a shadow? <laughs> Big bro, uh, I can't... free you. Uh. Nana-chan! Let's do this. Now, senpai! Nanako-chan! Nanako-chan? Nanako-chan! Bastard! How dare you! Give her back. I... I'm going to save her! I'm going, going to, to save her! her. Don't, Don't interfere! How solid is his grasp on reality? I... I'm... Soda! Save her! 
I'm, I'm going, going to, to save, save her! is greater now. Soda. Senpai, you're low on health. Be careful. Let's go! Guys, Teddy's health is pretty low. Soda. Teddy's health is pretty low. <laughs> 
She's in pain, but she doesn't seem to be injured anywhere. This place must not be good for her. We need to carry her out quick. We should take him with us as well. Yeah, we can't just leave him here, I guess. Nanako-chan, hang in there. <laughs> what are we gonna do? She's so small. And she was stuck in there for so long. And then there was that weird fog. Damn it! The police and paramedics will be here shortly. Nana-chan's still small, so her other self didn't appear like everyone else. And she got caught in all that craziness. I hope she'll be okay. I mean, are the doctors going to be able to help her? <laughs> I'm worried about Nana-chan! But there's nothing more we can do for her. A delivery man named Namatame. 
The possibility of Nanako-chan being targeted, if only I'd been more thorough in putting the facts together, then Nanako-chan wouldn't have had to go through this. That goes for me too. If I hadn't stood there like a lump in front of that bastard, Nanako-chan might have been okay. I hate myself. Why do I always panic when it matters most? I couldn't do anything either. I should have noticed sooner that something was wrong with that guy. Why did I waste time listening to what Namatame had to say? If I hadn't tried to engage him in conversation, and we'd rescued Nanako-chan immediately, this wouldn't have happened. But I still... All right. Enough of this pity party. Is standing around and whining really what we ought to be doing now? Feeling pathetic, consoling each other? That gonna solve anything? We gotta believe in her. So stop rehashing what's already done. Get it together, Naoto! Sorry. You're absolutely right. This is all that bastard Namatame's fault. And he's behind bars now, right? And it ain't like we were too late for Nanako-chan. Yeah, that's true. I'll come see Nana-chan every day, so she'll get better faster. That's all we can do right now. Gee, Kanji, you sounded cool for a second there. Huh? You guys still here? Adachi-san, um, did they find out anything? Dojima-san speaking with the doctor now, but they can't say anything definite until they run some tests on her. Not just Nanako-chan, but the perp too. Who knows when we'll be able to hear his story. Well, it's getting late, so hurry home. The last thing we need is for you guys to collapse, too. He's right. We should call it a night. Nanako-chan's gonna be fine. Acting all gloomy won't help anything. When Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, what should we do to celebrate? Dude, isn't it a little early for that? Why don't we reserve Juness and have a party there? A party at Juness? Uh, that makes no sense. Nana-chan, she'll get better, right? Yeah, I do believe in her. Let's all have fun with Nana-chan when she comes back. Thanks. I almost forgot how to keep a happy face. But with that out of the way, I'm feeling all hungry. <laughs> hey! Where did everyone go? Don't leave without me! Huh? You didn't go home yet? Uh, I heard. Thanks. <sighs> Nanako. I'm so relieved. Dojima-san? You awake? I guess it's no surprise. He was so stressed out over Nanako-chan. I'll stay with him tonight. You can go home and rest, even if it's just for a little while. Oh, please. You look terrible. Nanako-chan's safe, so relax. I think you should get some rest. Hurry and go. Your friends are waiting, aren't they?